Hey everyone, welcome back to another Exos Heroes video. So in today's video, we're going to discuss how to win in tag PvP. But before that, if you want updated Exos Heroes videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, so we're here now. We're going to start off um, this video. Number one on our list is actually team building. Okay, so if you already have a primary team, which is actually very strong because you've been playing in PvP. Like, for example, what I have here. Um, I have here in my main team. This is what I'm more or less I've been using in, in PvP, which is which can go up to grand at this point so red fc redley fc schmid fc annie fc iris and fc garf so what do you actually have to do is take this apart because again the objective of t of a pvp tag is not to win once but to win twice so if you can see here in my next um team so you have there still Garf, Redley, and Annie, but there are newcomers to the team, which is FC Rera and FC. That's FC Jean. Okay, so more or less, you have to break it up. You have to break up some of your components and put them in other teams. So, and also you have to build your tag one team or your secondary team your my secondary team is actually good already i have here um fc shell fc Jinai, and fc um adams they're they, they were once uh, my main team but now they're relegated to the secondary team um a niche potential is actually complete i just have to make sure that their signature force is actually um leveled up um, as you can see here as well, FC Schmidt is here from my main team and, uh, FC Iris is here. Okay. I don't, I, at this point, um, FC Iris is not really, you know, long-term going to be in this team. I'm still looking for a fifth, um, hero to put here because if you can see my third team, so... More or less, this is a North One Frosty team. I don't have FC Tantalo here. I was supposed to put FC Tantalo here in my second team. But again, he his build his, has, has kind of dropped already. I was I, I actually reset his unleashed potential. I gave it to FC Adams and to FC Rera. So I ended up with uh, using FC Iris in Tag PvP. I actually don't mind. I can actually put her here. I can actually put her here and probably replace um, what do you call this? Okay, so let's let's swap this one. Let's get this, get her out, then put her here in North One Frosty, where, which I think she's actually at home, and put. Red, sorry, put Ramji here. So more or less, again, a good secondary team would would be good. Um, some of your main teams, main team components should be scattered between your secondary and your third team. Okay, and for your third team, more or less, these are these are just your stragglers. You have to put. Uh, you have to eventually decide on a third team because again. Um, you have to level them up eventually. For my second team, almost all have been leveled up as well. Especially for my first team, for for FC Jean, I think she uh, he has. Uh, I think what I lack in him is a niche potential and uh, FC Rera as well. So more or less a decent PvP tag team. In terms of matchups, guys, I'll I'll good. Uh, we'll go through matchups later. Um, and more or less, as you can see, these are my team compositions as of the moment. Again, my name would, my, my main word would, would be this one, my core, secondary, and third team. Okay, let's go to matchups. Let's have a match. So more or less what you do when you enter into a matchup, um, more or less there will be three teams also on, on, on the enemy side. So you check their, their 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 combat power, 
then choose the the lowest you match up your two highest combat power with the two lowest on the other team so let's go for it okay so this is the highest definitely so what i'll do is i'll assign my lowest to their highest because again i'm sure that this team is not built well enough and what i do is i assign the my two other stronger teams with uh, the second strongest and their weakest here for the second best team again it's actually the opposite so for for their strongest you assign your weakest then the rest the opposite as well okay because again this will or may this actually increases your chance of winning this match. Even if it's on auto, even if you're the defense, this actually increases your chance. Okay, so here we are now with PvP tag. So this actually is a different uh, opponent than what I intended for the previous one. In the middle of everything, there was the, the emulator just crashed and there was an update from EXOS and... I ended up with battling a different team with a different um, with a different combat power. Um, but again, the same principle applies. If um, you're in a matchup, do not your your strongest team should not battle their strongest team. So, their your strongest team should only battle the second strongest team, and your second strongest team should battle his um, third strongest team. So, in other words. Your weakest team, you should be able to more or less assume that it should be battling the the what they call this the, um, the the strongest team because again, all you need to do is mostly um, win twice. You don't have to win three times. You just have to ensure that you win two battles out of three. So again, the strongest team can be paired up with your weakest one. Basically, it's just a giveaway so that um, your, your other two teams are ensured more or less of a high chance of a victory. So again, right now, my although I am I'm using my, my, my weakest team, but again, the opponent's strongest team is actually uh, lower in combat power versus my versus my strongest team versus my weakest team so more or less even on auto i believe that i can still win this one but again the principle still applies um if again um you just you only just have to win twice um and more or less two strong teams will actually do it for tag pvp again um, just want to recap what I said in terms of your primary team. Your primary team in, in PvP should be broken into two teams. So that would be your first and second teams basically. So you just have to add on a couple of um, heroes to your first team um, and also heroes to your second team. So um, even in tag PvP, um, the buffs actually go a long way. A niche potential as well. Signature Force, um, Blue Fate Cores, they actually go a long way. For now, with my team, I'm focusing... My main team is usually Wasted Red. So, um, Wasted Red, Signature Force is actually complete. I'm actually near completion of... Um, near completion of... Um, Vagabond signature force. So I'm actually I just need two more copies of Schmidt to complete that signature force. Then what I will do is I will be going back to to Estoris. Um previously I used them as my primary team, but I actually backed out. Um I'm actually using Estoris as my secondary team because I believe that they're strong as well. And uh, recently, FC Adams, I was able to to level him up, Anish potential as well. I what I did was I reset the Anish potential of Tantalo. That is why I was able to 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 maximize Anish potential for for FC Adams. And more or less, I have a tree already for the second team, which is Janai, Shell, and Adams. So. Actually, this is actually my, my main team. Um, 
what you see here, um, they are actually joined by Dorka. Uh, no, it's not Dorka. They're joined by FC Jean and FC Rera. So the, uh, Dorka is actually on, on the opposing team. So more or less, um, again, uh, if you've seen my tips, this would actually increase your chances of defeating your enemies in pvp tag okay so that's it guys so more or less if you have comment suggestions please put it down in the comment section below if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do because you're one of the 85 percent of my viewers that hasn't subscribed to my channel and i do appreciate it very much if you subscribe because this helps my channel a lot okay guys stay safe take care Happy PvP tag and please comment down if you have success with the tips that I gave you. Take care, stay safe. This is the Warden and I'm out of here.